What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we are not breaking any boxes because we got a big mail day to go through. Lots of packages have come in over the last month or so. It's been a while since we've done a regular uh, mail day. I know I've done uh, Com C mail days, I've done card hobby mail days, but it's been a while since we've done just a regular old mail day from stuff I've gotten from eBay and maybe some other places. I think these are probably all eBay cards. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. We got a lot of stuff to go through. Um, first card is for a set that is now 100% complete. And we got Lamello Elite Series. So what I was doing was, um, if you've followed these mail day videos in the past, I've been working on the uh, a color match set for this Elite Series set. This is the purple, this one's number to 49. So I'm gonna show this for a second. I, what do you guys think is the better color match? So there really is no good color match to teal. The only other color of this card that I don't not showing here is like a neon green. The blue kind of clashes a little bit just because it's a little bit different type of blue than the teal. The purple is like a complementary color to the teal and there actually is a lot of purple and a lot of Hornets jerseys. You can't really see it here a lot. Sometimes the pinstripes have some purple in them. So I don't know. I don't know which one is the better uh, color match card to uh, put in the in the set for this. So I'll let you guys let me know <laughs> which one you think is the better card. But that set is complete. I'm either going to use the blue or the purple for the set. All right, and some more set chase stuff. We got more Elite Series. You guys might be sick of seeing these cards, but I am getting closer and closer and closer to finishing this set. There's two in the same... I got two from the same seller. This seller listed a bunch of singles. I actually needed a bunch of them. I got Jan Mahinmi to 275 and this uh, Thomas Robinson rookie to 249. The seller had two other cards, just vet based to 275. I think it was like Hashim Thabit and Ronnie Turioff maybe. I needed both of those and I bid them up as much as I, to a crazy amount. The Hashim Thabit sold for like $18, which it's like a $1 card. And I lost that auction, and I think the Ronnie Turioff sold for like 10 bucks or something because someone must have just put huge bids. Maybe it's another person doing the set chase, but either way, I lost both of those, unfortunately, but I'm getting closer and closer to finishing this set. Um, now that these two are here, there's still a few more that haven't, um, that I bought like at Com C or Card Hobby, other places that should be showing up soon. Uh, once all those show up, I'm down to only 10 cards left in that 275 card set. I need seven more vets and three more rookies. So getting closer and closer and closer. Speaking of rookies, so I bought this one from eBay. And then right after this, I saw a card hobby lot with this and two other cards that I when I needed one of the other ones. And I won that lot on card hobby. So I'm gonna have another one of these showing up pretty soon. But I really won the card hobby lot for the other card that I needed that was part of that three card lot. So fortunately that happens when you're chasing sets like this. So you end up with a bunch of duplicates and things like that, but that's okay. All right, we got more from Elite Series. This one, take it out of the card saver here. Steve Nash from the Elite uh, Series, uh, the Veteran Series, number to 199. Getting closer to finishing this too. I think I need maybe four more cards or so for this 25 card uh, insert set. So hopefully I can finish that one and show it off soon. And here's a big one for a set that I have not com close to completing so far yet. This is Court Vision, and I'll take this one out. I just love the way all these inserts look. They, uh, they did such a good job with this Elite Series set. The shine on these things is just incredible. Just the full hollow surface with the nice silver border and clean background, awesome photos on all these. All, the, all of these. And this is the rarest one, number to 49. So there's no parallels, no nothing. Just one insert, number to 49, and that's it. One of the more rare serial numbered inserts um, that Panini has ever created that has no parallels. Um, um, I think I'm maybe like halfway done, maybe not even halfway done, and I still need some big ones. I need uh, LeBron and I need the Dame Lillard rookie, both of 49. So maybe one day I'll grab those, but it's going to be a while. All right, I think that's it for set chase stuff. Now for the Denny Avdia Avalanche, uh, I'll show up just some cheap ones first. Um, Got this blue 2021 Elite to 99, 2021 Donruss red to 99. Uh, this is from this year's Donruss red and green. This is a retail exclusive. This one's numbered out of 75. It's always tough to find these uh, random retail short print cards. 
Got some more from Recon. I really like this set this year. Red to 199. We got a purple to 75. Add those. These are all binder cards here. Added to my Denny binder. And I got a checkerboard from 2022 Optic. And a funny story behind this one actually is uh, a seller had this listed for like something like an eight or nine dollar starting bid with a buy it now of like 12 bucks. Something that was just too high for this card. And I just watched it. Um, get relisted over and over and over again, and no one else was watching the card. I was the only one, only one watching it. So I reached out to the seller and I said, "Hey, I saw this keeps getting relisted. You know, I'll, I'll throw, I'll give you five bucks for it." And he was like, "Nope, I'll do eight. And I said, "Okay, meet in the middle at six fifty. And we ended up getting into a huge fight over. Uh, you know, I guess he was offended by my offer and thought it was way too low. But I waited him out. No one bought it. He kept lowering the price over and over again. Finally, he lowered the price to like under $5. It was like four something. And I think my last offer I made over the message feature was like 650. And he was insulted by that 650 offer. And he kept lowering the price. No one else bid on it. And I won it for like $4. So sometimes it pays to wait people out if they don't want to be reasonable and sell a card for a reasonable price. All right, we got some better Denny stuff in the packages now. Here's another new one. This is White Sparkle. I think I have every year White Sparkle. Now I have his rookie White Sparkle. I'm pretty sure I got 2022. I don't, maybe I don't have 2021 yet. Maybe I'm missing that one. But in any case, nice Prism White Sparkle to add to the Denny binder. I think we've got a couple more, a few more Denny cards here. Got a Crown Royale. This is the Asia Tmall Red version. Uh, these were not numbered, uh, but the red parallels were short printed. Um, don't know exactly what the print runs like, but I don't really see these all that often. So they're some, somewhat rareish, uh, but I big fan of Crown Royale. So really cool die cut card there. We got another Denny in here. There we are. And I got another clearly Donruss uh, rated rookie auto. So I actually have the most of the really rare versions of this, I have the hollow silver number to 10, which got sent off the PSA that should be coming back soon. I also have the mosaic parallel, which is not numbered, but super short print case set. I have that in a PSA nine. And I figured, you know what? I already have the rarest one and, and the one to 10. Might as well add the green to 25. Um, there's a serial number right there. And I do like how it still has a nice hollow uh, feature on the front there. I got this raw pretty cheap and then I saw, so I, I might end up grading this one too, along with the other ones that are graded. I, I bought this raw for like 20, 30 bucks, 20 or 30, somewhere around there. And then I saw a PSA nine sell for like 65. Uh, so even if this gets a nine, it probably still will be worth grading. So I think this might be in my next uh, PSA sub. All right, we got, I think I'll open, I think these are similar. So I'll open these both at the same time. So we got two cards here from two different sellers and flux encased Titan silvers. So I, for some reason I thought I already had these, but I only had, I had the base version and I have a bunch of the more rare parallels. I have um, the first off the line purple to 38. I also have the purple to 25. I got the base and I have the first off the line black scope numbered to eight of both of these. So some rookies had multiple cards in this set. So Denny is number 17 and number 18 in the set. I know some guys like LaMelo and I think maybe Anthony Edwards may have had three copies of, the, of this uh, different cards in this set. Denny had two, so I've been picking these up. Um, so now between the base, the silver, purple, purple scope, and black scope, I got five copies of each of these. Um, still looking for some more rare parallels and that will lead into... The next card here, we got Gold Scope, first off the line, still sealed with the Flux seal on the top, and this is numbered out of just 18. So it, for some reason, it was easier to find the black parallels to eight. Um, I picked up both of those a while ago. I'm still trying to look for the other ones. So now we got, this is card number 17. So card number 18. I still need the gold scope to 18 of this card. I saw there's a PSA 9 on eBay, but I don't want a PSA 9. I like that these are factory sealed and I'm all the other copies I have are factory sealed like this. So I want to add um, this one right here in the gold to 18. So if I could find that, it'd be great. Um, I got a pretty good deal in my opinion on this one. Um, this One of these went up for auction back in 2023 when Denny's prices were down. A lot of his stuff was really cheap. One of these showed up for auction and sold for like $130. That was the second highest bidder. Someone else bid more than me. 
as soon as the other person bid on it and won, they immediately put it on their own eBay page for like $300 or best offer and it sat there forever and they finally took it down. So I'm not sure whatever happened to that one. Probably sure he never, you know, sold it for more than he bought it for. So since that last sale was over $130, um, a Canadian seller put this one up for a buy it now or best offer. And the buy it now is already less than the last one auction that had sold for, but uh, he had best offers on. So I ended up sending an offer that was a little bit lower than the buy it now, but still a lot lower than the 130 or so dollars the last one sold for. And I was a little nervous that someone else might scoop it up, but they didn't. And the seller accepted it right away. So I got this for like, I forget the, with the conversion rate, I, it ended up being like maybe 80 bucks or something. So not a cheap card, um, but I really like that it still has a seal on it. No one tried grading it. Um, so very, very nice card to add to my Denny PC. And one more Denny card that's even more rare than that one. And this is Noir. First off the line, gold frame number to 11. And it is, I don't know if you can see that, jersey numbered. Nine out of 11. <laughs> Could not believe I got this for as cheap as I did. Um, I actually looked back to try and find comps of these uh, in the past, and the only two comps I could find were super expensive. This actually, this exact copy, this nine of 11 jersey numbered copy sold about a year ago, or maybe two years ago, it was a while ago. Again, for over, I think it was like over 150 bucks. It was really expensive. And I was hoping, uh, this was sitting at auction and I was like, please don't let it go as much as the last one did. I, I wanted to put in a strong bid, but I didn't want to bid anything crazy. I ended up winning this for $38 plus shipping. That's not much more than the base version to 25 that I've seen sell multiple times. I think I, so I bought that for like 20 or 25 bucks and it pretty much sells for the same price. So for this to sell for like $13 more than I paid for the base of 25 and it's jersey numbered, I mean, Oof, doesn't get much better than that. Awesome looking card. I got an awesome deal on it. So very, very happy. That's a forever PC card right there. So no one else is going to be uh, seeing that one again anytime soon. All right. For uh, my other PC players now, Ginobili, we got a greeny sports card show schedule. Okay. And this is the only Ginobili card I got in the whole mail day. So my last Com C, or, uh, Com C and, and I think Card Hobby mail day had a ton of Ginobili stuff. This is my only Ginobili card. It's uh, from First Year Revolution, 2015-16. It's a Sunburst Parallel. This is one. This one is numbered 30 out of 75. So I recently picked up the Cosmic, which was jersey numbered 20 out of 100. Um, couldn't find the jersey number of this one, but I got this nice and cheap. So very nice Ginobili to add to the PC there. And we got two Alonzo Morning cards to finish off this mail day. Let's show this one first. We got a PSA graded card. It is a... Upper Deck Signature Shots Auto, numbered out of just 25. So this is from 2007, so it's right at the end of his career, but he was technically still playing, so playing days autograph. Um, and I think this actually might be the rarest playing days auto I have of morning in my entire collection. Now, I got some playing days autos. I think I have an ultimate numbered to 50. Got some exquisite stuff, got some other Upper Deck stuff. I don't think any of them are numbered as low as 25, though. So. Uh, pretty pumped to get this for not uh, too expensive either. Uh, it's in a PSA 8 holder. Not sure if I, I don't really like these big thick holders like this. This is kind of before they started changing things around. So I'll probably just crack this and put it in a mag. Um, pretty much all my other morning autos are just in a one touch. Um, I don't really see the point to grading a card like this. So most likely I'll, I'll crack this one out. Um, and I'll probably be happier that it's just uh, in a one touch, but very nice to 25 there. And then you might be wondering why these two legacy collection cards showing up in the background. Well, you're about to find out right now because we got another one, probably one of the better looking uh, legacy collection parallels. This, the, I love the huge 33 in the background. It just looks really cool. Awesome shot of him going up. I'm not sure if he's grabbing a rebound or, or what, but very cool. I love the blue foil as well. On the front and on the back, we got 90 out of 99. So this is the row two. So you can see the two there in the bottom. 62 is just the card number. And I put these up in the background to see the other two cards from this same year. So these are all from 1998. So 
Each year they change things up a little bit. There's three different rows in 98. There was no row zero in 98, at least not for Alonzo Mourning. I don't, I don't think there's row zeros for anybody. Um, but we got a Mourning, row one. This is PSA eight, number 299. We got another PSA eight, this is row three. So we got the row one, the row three, and now we got the row two. So this row two is definitely gonna be in my next PSA submission. So then I'll add these together. I'll, I'll be uh, that, so we'll complete the PSA graded set of all three Legacy Collection parallels from 1998. I already finished the uh, the 97 set. There was four of those. There was row zero, one, two, and three. 98. There's only three. So that means that the last one I have left that I don't have yet is 1996 row one. That's the only one I don't have in terms of Legacy Collection parallels. I have the row zero and the row two from 98, but I don't have the row one. So that's the only one left to have all 10 of the original, I call them like, you know, the kind of OG legacy collection parallel, just because they all have a very similar, um, similar print runs and similar design styles and things like that. So 96, 97, and 98, I, I kind of put those all in the same bucket in terms of original legacy collection parallels. So very cool, finally found this one. And as soon as I bought this, I had been waiting forever to find one, I bought it. And then like a whole bunch of auctions for other copies of this same card, all came up around the same time. So hope that I can get a good grade on this one. It looks pretty clean, honestly, um, but I know these are tough to grade. Those are both PSA eights, so wouldn't shock me if this one got an eight as well, but it'd be really cool if it can get a nine. But that's gonna do it for this mail day. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all on the next video.